Okay, question three from the exam. This time we're gonna have a function that receives a list of values. So in C++ we have two options. We can do this with arrays, we can do this with vectors. Uh, let's do it with both. And um, so let's set that up. So exam three, let's uh, do our standard, including namespaces. Oops, what am I doing? Include, Iostream using std cout using std handl and end main return zero. I'll just do a quick check g plus plus six and three dot cpp. Everything's happy. Good. Okay. So let's do it with arrays first. So we need a function called, what was it called again? Uh, sum squares list. So it's called sum squares. We've got kind of a Python syntax here with an underscore, but oh well. And so it needs to get a list of values and we're gonna pass that list as an array. So um, we'll call those the numbers and the type I personally like to think of this is the name and this is the type and it would be cool if you could do that but you can't but you can do it that way in C++ so and I'm gonna call it numbers because it's more than one number it's it's a bunch of numbers zero or more and then because it's an array and arrays we can't figure out how many numbers are in the arrays we need to pass another variable and I'll call it num nums the number of numbers that are being passed inside that array. So let's open up this function. It's going to be similar to what we did for the other uh, um, questions. We're going to need an accumulator. Oh, this returns something. So let's have it return an int. And so the accumulator will start at zero because this time we're summing uh, the squares. And so let's do that then. So let's for now just have it return 42 and let's set up a test. So I'm going to set up a test int uh, x, let's call it numbers, size 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so the number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I think I even used that in the example here. Yes, it should be 55 is the sum of the squares. So those are the array. Um, notice that the size is 5. That doesn't mean the maximum value. That's the size. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 things here. And then we're going to, um, let's uh, sums. Sum sq is, let's call sum squares list with that, those numbers. And it's going to need the number 5 so that that matches this. What's the type of numbers? It's an array of int. This is an array of int. This five is an int. Everything works well. And now we should be able to print out the sum sq and l. All right, let's uh, check that it compiles. It's happy. And if we run it, it prints 42 because, well, we're returning 42. So let's implement our loop. We're going to add. What we got to do is. Oh, let's put it here. Accumulator is accumulator plus uh, some value times that value, right? And that value starts at the first thing in the list and then the second and, the, and all the things in the list. So we need to basically say for each element in that list, but we don't have that syntax to exceed it. Well, so I'm going to say for each index in the possible indexes of that array, we're going to do something. So um, this is one reason why we use i very often. And the indexes start at 0 for arrays. And how many uh, indexes will there be? There will be 0, 1, 2, 3, up to 1 less than the size of the array. And we have that. It's right there. So, And the index goes up by 1 each time. Now, what are we going to do with that index? Well. The accumulator and what's the val? The val is, well, numbers in position i 
times numbers in position i. And we're going to do that all the way around the loop. And the accumulator, and then let's not make that dumb mistake we did last time. And we just return the accumulator. So the accumulator starts at 0. It's going to add numbers in position 0 times numbers in position 0. Then numbers in position 1 times 1 numbers in position 1. Should go through. We should get our answer. Bingo. All right. So let's switch to vectors. Pretty easy. Let's uh, include the vector class library. And we will also need to do using vector because it's part of the standard namespace. Now uh, we're going to change all this so that types are going to change. We're still going to return an int, but we're going to receive a vector of int called, uh, we'll call it numbers as well. Why not? And this actually won't change that much because the accumulator is still the same. The index goes from zero, but it doesn't go up to num nums. We didn't receive that value. We don't need to anymore because we can ask the vector how big it is. The vector knows. And then i goes up, and the accumulator is the accumulator plus the numbers in position i. Plus all that stays the same. It's pretty well the same. Uh, the only thing we need to change is we're not using an array anymore. We're using a vector of int called numbers. And we can actually initialize it this way. And then we don't need to pass that anymore. That should be it. Save. Compile. Run. Bingo. All right. So that's number three. And we'll stop that and go on.